Here he is. Here's the boy who lived. By the way, he shouldn't have even, even lived here. If we back that one up, if possible, like this specific play, uh, you'll see that he was one shot. They would have called this out. Sentinels would have called this. Look, he's getting tagged up. Call out uh, one player in power. One shot right here. Look at uh, one bullet. He sprint slides. Gets behind the wall just in time. And Snakebite doesn't see it. So despite the call out, that was so beautiful, right? That was just perfectly executed rifle. to flip the situation, turn it into a double. And that was just the start of the, the impact the plays commonly made. Ball incoming. Yeah, commonly just every play, it seemed as if it was him breaking the Sentinels' New chances. It, it was like as if he was ruining their hopes and dreams. But now the question is, is we're going to game five and we've seen this before. The last time these two teams met in game five, it was a 50 to 49 on truth. And it was a heartbreaking loss for Flyers because they built oh, no. a massive lead in game five and they weren't able to finish it. I forgot about this. Let's focus on this for a second. He's one shot. Frosty's focusing on him. Frosty's taking the shots. Oh. He doesn't care. He just oh, goes right. for it and hits the it hits the headshot. Perfect play. I Connolly was paying no respect Ego to versus Ego. Yeah. Ego versus Ego. Well, Frosty has the clear, you would think the advantage, but just the Ego, man, you know he's feeling Five himself minutes. at this point. Right. Commonly knows he's cracked. He knows he can hit these shots, so he puts Frosty down, and that's the statement you need to see. But Flyers, their coordination, their ability to weather the storm and fight back. I was seeing the uh, the shadows in the chat, by the way. I got to do, do it as well. Uh, massive shout-out to their coach, Garrett Callis. Coach Callis has been keeping this Flyers team coordinated and ensuring that they stay, uh, they play their best in these high-stakes situations. That speed to avoid it. Either way, the tournament, the series, continues. And this time, it's Eden Oddball for Game 4. Flyers, they have kickstarted their momentum in a big way here. Jumping into oddball, it's hard to say who has the guaranteed advantage. Oddball, I've seen go left and right with this uh, with, with with this game type. It's it's unpredictable, and this is a perfect opportunity for Flyers to showcase what they got. Eden on oddball guys expect to see the ball mostly played at that red doorway where you can usually throw it off the side when you feel the pressure sometimes you'll see a blue hold where you keep it over at blue catwalk and rotate to blue door uh, depending on what happens with this over oh, frosty he just let Arnold get away oh no you gotta wow. finish your kill oh uh, actually nah, I hole. get it I get it let the let the over show go away go get the oh. sniper What's that? Oddball instead that he gets dropped <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So much is going on here, Garrett. Uh, somehow Frosty, he, he pushes ball through. He wanted the snipe, but Envor wanted it more. He Your got the OS, ball. he came back, he got the snipe, and now First he's getting time. kills. And the ball in his hands as well. Envor doing it all. He'll rotate it over to Cage here and get the opening time. But yeah, put it down. Put the snipe back in your hands and see you make plays. Hey, you know, you guys might not like this, but this is what peak performance looks like. He was able to get the overshield. He got the sniper rifle. He immediately puts a clip in. He, he's doing what's necessary for his team. Oh. And he's now missing. Unfortunately, there's one behind. Oh, no, I thought the punch was going to connect. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Frosty able to make the play. He has a sniper back in his hand, making up for the early blunder as his teammates are able to find the kills and they retake blue. What a successful retake. Absolutely incredible from the side of Sen. It's one mistake, one opportunity that's needed, and Sentinels will take advantage in every objective game type. Ball we'll see Ryan Noob try his best to hold him off. Oh, my God. He's, oh actually, what? gets the kill on Lethal. Oh, Your my. Oh, Lethal got his thumbs broke. Oh, no, that's not what you want to see. And Flyers recover quickly ball. from Sentinels breaking through blue. A bit of an ankle breaking out of Ryan Noob right there. He lived, and because of it, they, like you said, they break out of blue. They got a chance with high ground here to turn things in their favor, but Envor getting dropped by Frosty. Frosty looking to turn two here. He's got the bead on the bottom mid. Beautiful angle and shots to close it out. He's looking for spawners. Nate's into, into red. That player is going to take a mad dash over to tower. They're trying to out-rotate Frosty, who's hunting them down, but it looks like it's working. They'll keep him back, and the team shot too strong. The chase is on, though. Royal 2, ball in hand. He's trying to out-rotate this team. Look at this as he takes it outside. He can't play it, though, and multiple members of Sentinels dropping as Flyers get control and the timing of this control is massive os is about to pop here flyers holding down center map frosty with a massive kill but the os still in the hands of the ball and i love the fact they commonly picked it up with ball in hand that os pops instantly he doesn't have to click it on the body
No, that was so smart from Commonly because he did even more than that. Other than just standing on the pedestal of the ball, he waited till he took damage. He absorbed shots because he knew to instantly put on. He basically let himself get almost one shot, put the ball, yep. uh, put the overshield on, and basically magnified as much overshield as possible. He didn't want to burn any of it. Love to see it. And it gets his team a nice chunk of time, and he outplays his opponent. No. Oh, I thought he was just going to push forward no and get a back spec. Oh, commonly, commonly's out playing. Commonly looking great. There's a reason why this man's an X game gold oh. medalist. Lethal, you have silver. Commonly, he has gold. The boy who lived, Garrett. Somehow he slipped out. They didn't see him. He came back, got a double. He's a pair of glasses and a scar on the forehead away from Harry Potter, this man. You with the ball back in hand, and this is ball time for Flyers off of that play. Oh my, this is just, it's, it's impact plays that commonly makes. He's the IGL of the team. He has the most experience. He's been there. He's done that. He's He has the wins under the belt and it's showing right now. The man's executing and he gets the ball played at the perfect spot. He knows the Sentinels are pushing through. They're going to play for the Reslays. You see the spawns come out from the outside. It's up to commonly to stay alive for long enough to let the help come through and for them to find the Reslays. Oh, here we go. Man with a plan, Frosty. Oh, no, but he's dropped quick. Commonly puts him down. X Games mode activated. Can he hit the shots, though? He no. does whiff it and then drops. <laughs> well, lethal put him in a Immediately. <laughs> Not ideal. Lethal has it now. And Lethal, he's put this... <laughs> You're still laughing about it, Gary. <laughs> that, that was guilty. <laughs> that was disgusting. And Lethal goes and drops the ball out center with the snipe. What was that play? I, I, I don't know care. how I feel about it with the, the snipe <laughs> now down. And the, the, the camo or OS coming up as well. Flyers are prioritizing this instead. Snakebite, no choice but to get into the fray. But he, oh, he gets a huge clutch kill. Royal 2 gets one as well. Snake Sentinels can get the OS off of this. And ball time, everyone, it, it's so scrappy. This is wild, Garrett. Oh, man, I still can't get over it. Lethal, <laughs> Lethal put him in the blender. <laughs> oh, my. Commonly, you had great plays. Lethal puts that one short. Frosty's able to get the sniper rifle back in his hands. Although he's had it for most of the game, it doesn't feel as if he's made too big of an impact with it yet. Overshield in the hands of Royal 2, and he has a noob combo to go with it, so it's going to take an effort to burn him off that. Commonly able to grab the sniper rifle once again. Flyers are able to maintain this. But what's so interesting to me, Shy, is this ball has been unorthodoxly put in in a tower multiple times this game. You don't see this as often on Eden on Oddball because there's no real play spot inside the tower. Very hard to play the ball, ball in tower. Coming. Instead, you just get scrappy battles left and right and a hope to drop it out bottom mid, but commonly, oh, 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 I love that stick out of him. A great entrance into tower here, but he's gonna be denied very quickly by that combo. So down for the count, ball back out center, though. It looks like they didn't get time on it. I think it reset. Instead, Royal 2 just dropping days left and right here. He'll drop after. And that ball now in the hands of Flyers as they look to rotate it out. The better ideal position here would be get it out to Red Bend. Get a setup going. We haven't seen, like you said, we haven't seen one proper setup because of the sleighs left and right. Nobody getting the opportunity to do it. CC looking for his chance, but the longer he sits here, the more time Sentinels can come in and start to make plays. Enemy CC, the, the Cavalry's here. How does he weave through the cracks? Wow. Gonna get the double maybe here. He gets one. Looking for a second. Ten Look at this. Flyers right. pull it away. Three we kills the and the ball. This is the setup you wanted to see. They can rotate it over to red, but oh, there's a double dilemma, right? CC wants the snipe, Sniper but they do have the ball field. set up. They have to give up snipe. They have to give up snipe, and they have to give it up to the most dangerous man on the planet. Frosty's going to be able to put it out. Although they have outside spawns for now, Royal 2 is going to try to make that not a reality with these kills. But Overshield's coming up, and it's going to come down to which other team gets this to determine where the pacing of this game is going to go. And that should be an Overshield for Sentinels. Ball gets played. Now it's up to the retake. Sentinels have their opportunity. It's time to execute. All they needed was the battering ram. Well, they got an OS lethal, and they got Frosty, who is blaming his spawners. He's not done yet. There's one directly. Oh, no, he didn't see it. Oh, almost connects. It would have been clean, but what was commonly has been sniffing out this sniper all game. He's had a few chances with it. This time, he has five shots to make an impact here. Oh, Player directly above. He hears it. I think it's, oh, it's Royal 2. I was thinking it would be Frosty wanting that sniper back, but commonly fends it off for now. You get an angle over the tower, though. Can't snap onto oh him. Three peaks and Blaine's Frosty sit down. Commonly's heating up. Have the ball. And can he get more? 
You know, you know Commonly's confident right now by how he's taking these challenges. He has no fear. He's paying no respect to the dynasty. He's trying to force this game five, and he's doing a beautiful job at it. And once again, we're seeing the ball start to rotate towards tower. Uh, the unorthodox plays from Flyers, and it's giving them a lead. And finally, this is what we more expect. He's playing that window. He knows that the spawns are towards Blue Bend. He's trying to isolate out the angles from the players and Sentinels. They're starting to get kills. Okay, on board, you know, maybe not use the br again it, it's it's kind of <laughs> trash and we see why he's not able to put the shots uh, in to keep his life but the lead is doubled at this point commonly he's slaying he's holding the ball you he's dictating the, the rotations and it's giving his team an opportunity to push it to five ball out of bounds sad day when a ball halo incoming. game has a bad br uh hopefully infinite doesn't make the New same mistake ball. either way <laughs> no low blow i love halo 5 this game's still going though garrett and flyers with the clear advantage i love this setup commonly by the way what a sneaky play shots into both of them gets one one shot takes out world two he's got a spree of his own and flyers looking to pull the ball off of that but the os about to pop here lethal can he do anything to defend it commonly just bobbing and weaving gonna keep him back on the stairs lethal coming out with the challenge lethal can't get the window commonly with a five to drop him again and that ball, that that os that's got to be in the hands of flyers because of it no way he's still going garrett that's a double right here commonly put him down Commonly is gross. What is going on? He's taking over this game. He is the reason why Flyers won in game three, and he's the reason why they're going to push drop. this to five. Ryan Noob has the overshield. Flyers we are in position at this point. They just Ten have to choke the game right. away with Super CC getting the double. There's really only one more opportunity for Sentinels to find the break and onboard finding that kill to me. Puts field. this in the grave. Rest in peace. We're moving to game five. You gotta find a way to revive your chances, your hopes of continuing on in this bracket. Sentinels, this was not a pretty one, and now it's just up to Flyers to finish it. I can't believe it, Garrett. Flyers were not done yet. They are not going down without a fight. They are absolutely showcasing that they're in it to win it today. Frosty does have the snipe. He is trying to get some defensive kills, but at this point, it's too little too late. Commonly has unlocked the potential we've been waiting to see all tournament long. He was the star of this game, Garrett. And Envor looking to close it out with a clean shot. Let's see if he does it either way. He'll die. That's 150. That's a dominant scoreline. 150 to 52 to not only swing back the momentum, to swing the series back, give us a game five, and give us a Slayer against Sentinels. And, and I know Slay I know Sentinels have, have won the Slayer in this series, but man, not like this, Garrett. Not like this. Flyers, they're coming out of nowhere. They're not show stopping. Kill, show kills, show kills. Thank you. I was 20 and 11. Show the kills. I was I was hoping they'd show the kills before the before the hose gets reset. 24 to 15. Oh my god. The, the commonly and onboard together were just proved to be way too much. Royalty trying his best at 21 and 17, but that was just a display. I that might be one of the best games that we'll see from an individual player all day. Oh what god. commonly did on this ball game what, was one of the grossest onboard things I've well. seen. Yeah, Onboard had it, but the, what co commonly makes like these just massive impact plays. Onboard, I expect him to go do crazy things, grab what he needs to do, and, and find slays. He's just that individually talented. But commonly, his plays are impactful. They're pivotal. They're, they are monumental to their success. I love what we saw from commonly. That spree where he had back-to-back -back killing sprees and he put Sentinels on notice is what we expect. Here he is. Here's the boy who lived. By the way, he shouldn't have even, even lived here. If we back that Ten one up, if possible, like this minute. specific play, uh, you'll see that he was one shot. They would have called this out. Sentinels would have called this. Look, he's getting tagged up. Call out uh, one player in tower. One shot right here. Look at uh, one bullet. He sprint slides. Gets behind the wall just in time, and Snakebite doesn't see it. So despite the call out, that was so beautiful, right? That was Ten just perfectly executed. Rifle to flip the situation, turn it into a double. And that was just the start of the you impact the plays commonly made. Ball incoming. Yeah, commonly just every play, it seemed as if it was him breaking the Sentinels' chances. It, it was like as if he was ruining their hopes and dreams. But now the question is, is we're going to game five and we've seen this before. The last time these two teams met in game five, it was a 50 to 49 on truth. And it was a heartbreaking loss for Flyers because they built oh, no. a massive lead in game five and they weren't able to finish it. I forgot about this. Let's focus on this for a second. He's one shot. Frosty's focusing on him. Frosty's taking the shots. Oh. He doesn't care. 
He just goes for it and hits the it hits the headshot. Perfect play. I Connolly was paying no respect ego to Sentinels. Ego versus yeah. ego. Ego versus ego. Frosty has the clear. You would think the advantage, but just the ego, man. You know he's feeling himself at this point. Connolly knows he's cracked. He knows he can hit these shots, so he puts Frosty down, and that's the statement you need to see. With Flyers, their coordination, their ability to weather the storm and fight back. I was seeing the uh, the shadows in the chat, by the way. I got to do, do it as well. Uh, massive shout-out to their coach, Garrett Callis. Coach Callis has been keeping this Flyers team coordinated and ensuring that they stay, uh, they play their best in these high-stakes situations. They've got themselves back down to Game 5 here, and they have a coach who's supporting them, making sure they're making tricky macro plays. I mean, commonly, look at these plays out of him. I guarantee they've got that coach supporting them here. Yeah, there, there's a reason why out of all the am teams the team that sentinels has trouble with the most is flyers and it's because they're the team that's most like sentinels they're the team that focuses on the macro focuses on the team play and it's as if sentinels just have to play a better version of them it's as if flyers is just playing a better version of themselves and 